The Colombian mammoth, Mammothus columbi, lived in North America from what is now the northern United States south to Costa Rica, including here in Arizona. They lived during the Pleistocene from about one and a half million years ago to about 11,500 years ago. After humans arrived in the New World, Colombian mammoths were hunted, and their bones and tusks were used to make tools and other items. Though closely related to the woolly mammoth, they did not live in the same areas. Colombian mammoths also had much less hair than the woolly mammoth. No skins of the Colombian mammoth have been found, so it is not known how much hair they had, but they lived in warmer climates without extensive ice or snow, and probably had hair similar to today's elephants. Through genetic testing, though, it has been found that they had reddish hair. Columbian mammoths stood about 13 feet at the shoulder and weighed up to 22,000 pounds. Their diet varied by where they lived. They were both grazers and browsers and ate grass, leaves, flowers, and tree bark when they were available. They had to eat up to 400 pounds of food each day and may have had to forage up to 20 hours a day in order to get that much food. During their habitat were animals such as Glyptodon, saber-toothed cats, camels, horses, buffaloes, and mastodons. Most of the large mammals of North America died out about the same time as the Columbian mammoth. We don't really know why, but it was probably a combination of climate change and increasing pressure from human hunting. Scientists have managed to sequence the Columbian mammoth's DNA, but there's little hope of ever being to bring it back from extinction.